In this video, we'll highlight a few of the awesome new features and enhancements you can use right now in Mongoose 903. For a complete list of enhancements, we have a PDF available here on the Mongoose portal. We are really excited to show off the new HTML5 designer. This web-based designer allows us to design and edit Mongoose forms in the web. All you have to do is click the design mode icon and a new browser tab opens up in design mode. From there, you open your form and you're ready to start making changes just like you would in the Mongoose Smart Client. This designer has functionality similar to design mode in the Smart Client, but for now, it's more limited. A new type of form called a report form can now be used to design and generate custom reports in Mongoose like this without the need for a third-party template or report engine. These reports are able to be customized and extended without breaking future compatibility. Here's Yao from the Mongoose team to tell us about the new Soho user components. The toolbox has been updated with predefined user components that can be modified just like any other user component. Let's open the new form named User Component Builder and take a look. This form allows us to see a preview of each component and generates the JSON string we'll need to get the component working. Here on our demo form, we have an autocomplete text field that has a list source of customers and an expandable area that gets and displays the order for each customer. Both of these are new user components. Let's add the rich text editor and the toast user component onto the form. Note that while you can go into design mode in WinStudio to edit these components, they won't be visible in run mode. They're made for use in the web. Back on the user component builder form, I'll copy the JSON string for the toast notification and go back into WinStudio and paste it into the JSON init field. Save the form and let's take a look in the web. Type something into the rich text editor, hit tab, and we'll see the toast notification on the top left corner of the screen. There are a lot of these new user components, so be sure to check them out. Now Dean is going to tell you about Infocon enhancements. With this enhancement, you're able to set a new property on the Infocon component called Always Expand as true or false. This allows you to create a tiled version of a list box. When Always Expand is set to true, you can determine the number of columns, but the number of rows is determined algorithmically. When Always Expand is set to false, it can be however many tiles wide or as tall as you'd like. And you have the ability to scroll both vertically and horizontally. Infocons are also now drag and drop enabled. In 903, we've also added support for sessions in Inform Mingle. Mongoose can now detect sessions from the same web browser instance using the same user credentials and create a single Mongoose session to service requests for an arbitrary number of iframes. We've added the ability to create widgets. These widget forms are typically small and suitable for use in Mingle pages or as context apps. We've simplified configurations for basic installations, and we now offer the option to configure Mongoose using a single database for all your metadata. We've updated the UI across all Mongoose forms, components, and controls, and we've also added the option to prune the display of folders and forms in the newly designed Master Explorer here on the left. Our new grid control is much faster when loading and scrolling through all grids in Mongoose. And finally, we've added animations for flex regions. To see this in action, watch our newest how-to video. For more videos like this and documentation, visit the Mongoose portal. To let us know what you want to learn about next, send us a tweet or join the discussion on LinkedIn. This is Mark from the Mongoose team. We hope you enjoy Mongoose 903.